Alright everyone, in this video I'll be talking about this Cat B26 rugged mobile phone. There's quite a few different rugged mobile phones you can get, you know, varying, varying in price. This is one of the cheaper ones, but it's not the cheapest, but um, it's a sort of like a recognised brand and it has got quite good reviews. So what I'll do first is really quickly talk to you about the sort of um, specs of it and stuff like that. So it weighs 150 grams, so not too heavy. The dim dimensions are 14 centimetres by 6 centimetres by 1.6. It's just like an old sort of style Nokia type phone, sort of size, a bit bigger, but that sort of, it feels more like that than your typical modern day smartphone. It has 8 megabyte internal storage, but you can add up to 32 gigabyte via a micro SD card. But on a phone like this, you don't need that much memory at all really. It has a 2 megapixel camera, and it also has a torch. And I bought this off eBay for £40. You can get it off eBay or Amazon. Now the features that make this a rugged phone are it's waterproof to 1.2 meters, drop proof to 1.8 meters, and it's also sort of like dust proof and sand proof, that sort of thing. There's a seal that goes round here. This is where you put your battery in, and that makes it watertight. Now, battery life on this is really impressive as well. It has a 13 hour talk time, so you could be on the phone for 13 hours talking, and it also it would also last 18 days in standby. So, you know, really impressive um, battery life. You know, my sort of um, iPhone now, I'd be lucky if it would last six hours, to be honest with you. It, the battery life's terrible on that now. And it, this, this can also um, operate in quite extreme temperatures. It can operate from minus 25 degrees Celsius up to 55 degrees Celsius. So a very, you know, hot and cold temperature operating range, which is good as well. I have bought a screen protector for this, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, which obviously wasn't included, I think I got that for about £6 off eBay, and I have got this sort of leather um, case as well, not that it really needs a screen protector or a leather case, but because it, you know, it is like drop proof and all that on its own, but I want this to last as long as possible, so I've sort of Maybe a bit overkill, but I wanted to get everything I could for it to protect it. So I'm not sure how well you have to see this on camera, but here's a look at like the sort of the dashboard, I guess you call it, or the home screen, whatever the correct terminology is for it. Very basic. You have your your um time, your date, your service provider, signal, all that sort of stuff. And here are sort of apps and stuff you can do. So you have your camera, you know, that sort of stuff. I'm going to go through everything, it could be quite boring, but your alarm, contacts. One thing as well that's good, that is good with this phone is you can put like a pin on it. So if someone found your phone, you'd have to enter a pin when you turn it on and then to get into, for example, um, Contacts, if I click that, you then have to enter a PIN, so your phone can be quite secure. It's a 2G phone, so there's no sort of YouTube or anything like that on here, or Facebook or anything like that. But that's what I wanted, you know, you have your basic sort of stuff here. But yeah, um, I'm not going to go through everything on here, because it'd be quite a long video, and it's, you know... If you, just can, if you can just picture what a mobile phone was like, say maybe 10 years ago, something like that. This is pretty similar to that. Um, one thing that's good as well is it's got real decent, you know, decent sized buttons here, all very um, heavy duty feeling. You can see around here as well, like the protection for um, if you drop it and stuff like that. There's your charging port there, which is, um, watertight and everything and if you leave that open you get a warning on the screen letting you know that that's open so that's handy 
your other side there, you've got your headphones, your port for headphones, speaker on the back there, there's your camera, and like I said, there's the bit, um, you want to screw this to put your battery in and um, SIM card and everything in. A little bit there for like a lanyard or something. So it's a, it, you can tell when you pick when you pick this up that it is a heavy duty mobile phone. It's not your standard phone. It is built to last. I'll quickly show you the torch. To turn the torch to turn the torch on, you just hold this up button here. Now you can see that comes on. It's quite good actually. It would it would do the job, you know. If that's all you had. And obviously you hold it again to turn it off. You know, you lock it like an like old style phone where you hit the two buttons. So yeah, um, very good, rugged mobile phone. This was a bit more of an overview than an actual review because I haven't actually taken this phone out and properly tested it. So I will do a, a video in the future where I've used it a lot and stuff like that. Um, on eBay, when I bought it, it's completely unlocked to any service provider, which is obviously handy. And um, yeah, I would recommend it. The, the main selling point for me was the battery life and um, sort of how basic it was. I really wanted a basic, hard, heavy duty hardware and phone. And as far as I can um, tell, this pretty much uh, you know, fits the bill sort of thing. So they're worth checking out. There is a Nokia one, which I was very close to getting, but that was about £100. £60 um, more than this. I believe, I may be wrong, but I believe I'm right in saying that on that you could get WhatsApp and Facebook, I think. So if you did want maybe to be able to go on Facebook and that, the Nokia one would be better. But if, you, if you're like me and just want a very basic, uh, you know, hardware and phone, I'd recommend this cat one. I can't really think of any complaints just yet. Um, if, you, if you're used to a touch screen, I guess maybe a bit weird using the buttons again, but you know, it doesn't take long to use. It's all pretty much basic, uh, it's all pretty much common sense the way things are laid out. You know, you have your settings for most things and all that. Uh, you can see there the model, stuff like this. So, um, yeah, it's it's a it's a decent mobile phone. It, it it is what it's advertised as, and it's exactly what I wanted. So, hopefully, you found this interesting and this overview um, helped you out if you were thinking about buying one. I've mentioned the sort of main things with like the waterproof, drop proof, and all that sort of stuff, the battery life, the temperatures, and so on. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.